Right, if you saw my video just a couple days ago on this manual reel mower that I used for my renovation area for the first mill, it looks really great and I'm really impressed with the cut, but a few asked what's the max height on this thing and what can it do as far as cutting a little bit longer grass, so why don't we try that out today? So actually adjusting this reel mower for the height is very, very simple. There's a couple little things that you can pull out here on the bottom and adjust the height. So I'm going to be going to the top notch this time, which should be two and a quarter inches. And then we'll see how that works out on some grass that I'm going to be mowing out front. Now that grass is about three inches long right now. I'm just going to see how well it does with some taller grass. This is a five blade reel, so actually the less number of blades is actually better for taller grass. So when we're mowing really, really short, you think about the more blades that you have going around, the grass is only about that tall, it can continually cut those. But when we're getting to taller grass, there needs to be more space in between those blades. Otherwise, the blades going around, there's not enough space in there and the grass is this tall, but there's only this much space in between the blades, then it just doesn't cut very well and it doesn't get all of the longer blades of grass. So for longer grass, you actually want less blades. So look at this, we get like seven inches of rain last week and this grass right here is already showing that it's drying out. <sighs> it's never ending. So it's still very, very easy to push. I'm actually missing a couple strands here and there though. I think maybe I should go one notch lower and see if I can cut into it just a little bit more. And usually on the first pass here, you're not gonna get a perfectly clean cut like you would with a rotary mower. There's just a lot more chance of some blades that are longer going through there and missing just because there's no suction to the mower at all. So you might need to just keep that in mind, but let's go one notch lower and see what happens. So does it work? Yes it does. Is it probably the exact same cut as you're going to get with a rotary? No. Once you get to these a little bit taller heights for grass, maybe over three inches or so, there's always going to be a few of those wispy ones in there that are just hard to get when you don't have any suction. So again, this is going to be better for sure for a low cut lawn, but it does work. You just have to have a little more patience with maybe going over it a couple times if you're wanting an absolute perfect cut with no grasses missed. Again, we're talking about using this more for a little bit of a lower cut. I'm also going to check right now to make sure that this thing is cutting paper perfectly because that is also a good thing to check to make sure that you're cutting correctly. This left side is actually not cutting the paper very well, which means we need to make a slight adjustment there. That might also help us a little bit. Now those things are extremely touchy, so you only want to make just the tiniest of adjustment and then go from there. Keep testing your paper. So it's cutting now. It's cutting the paper all the way across, so I'm going to take it back out and see where we're at.
Well, after that adjustment, it does seem to have made quite a big difference there in the cut quality, so if you are missing some strands or you're noticing some things that aren't cutting as cleanly as you think they should, definitely check the reel to the bed knife and see if it's cutting cleanly because that's very important. And again, very, very minor touches can actually make a difference there, so don't go too far one way or the other, and when tightening it, just start with a very small amount and go from there. So I hope you enjoyed this little experiment today. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time.